angry YouTube users are taking to Reddit and Twitter to complain about a new pop-up in the past week that it seems like more people are starting to see and that is that ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube this pop-up by YouTube gives the user two choices they can either allow the ads on YouTube so that way they play as normal or they can try YouTube premium for free and lots of different websites are actually covering this this is hackery.com they're saying that this is a new stance or a more aggressive stance on users that are actively blocking ads on the platform but in reality this is something that started happening all the way back in June of this year YouTube essentially came out and said that they are testing this new more aggressive stance against ad blockers on their platform you can even see it's being covered by insider and a lot of people are angry about this they're very frustrated okay and one thing that I found super interesting is that Asmongold has covered this now two different times on his channel in the past week and the reaction from his viewers has been pretty much the same both times a lot of people are saying that this is the end of YouTube that if YouTube doesn't change this they're going to go somewhere else as if there's a legitimate competitor to YouTube which listen a lot of people mentioned rumble people mentioned TikTok. TikTok does actually allow some users to upload up to 10 minutes these days so clearly YouTube does have more competition now than it ever has in the past but the data is pretty clear users typically go to TikTok for short form content and they go to YouTube for long form content and YouTube is very upset about this they've been pushing shorts for a very long time they've been dumping a ton of money into YouTube shorts and yet it still seems like TikTok is going to remain the short form content king good for YouTube though because all the money is in long form content regardless but Asmongold's viewers kind of reflect the broader sentiment to this change and that is that people think that they are going to quit consuming YouTube content over this change if YouTube continues to be more aggressive with requiring that you watch ads now here we see someone over on Twitter just losing their mind and they completely get a uh, community noted to oblivion basically saying that there is a pretty significant number of people who are blocking ads on YouTube right okay and I think that this user maybe was talking about just one specific ad block plugin when in reality there's a bunch of different ad block plugins there's multiple ways to block ads and also people use different browsers and according to the community note here it says 43 percent of internet users use an ad ad blocker now that to me seems a little bit high because I think a majority of traffic to YouTube and to social media platforms these days is probably from smartphones iPhones Android whatever and I know that some Android users or probably a lot of Android users can use some form of ad block um, myself as an iPhone user I know that it is much harder to use an ad block a lot of times you'll have to download sketchy apps or install third-party profiles and it's this whole thing but if you scroll through here a lot of people are I I think huffing the copium okay they're huffing the copium and this is you know the reason that I wanted to make this video is because I feel like by watching these these videos uh, of Asmongold it seems like he, his chat is kind of dogpiling on him saying that he's completely wrong about this and that if YouTube continues to be more aggressive with their ads people will leave now some of the arguments that people make about this are television right a lot of people don't watch television anymore and instead they use YouTube or Twitch or some other platform to consume content which sounds on paper like a logical comparison like it's apples to apples but it's obviously not the content on YouTube compared to scheduled television programming is not the same at all an Asmongold reaction is not a market replacement for how I met your mother or Big Bang theory or you know the evening news for example and so I dove into the comment section here and there's some crazy takes okay first of all this dude says I'd rather spend 30 minutes trying to find a way to block the ads than one minute watching the ad and I feel like this is partially a joke but no you wouldn't okay if you had to spend every time really every time an ad comes up you're going to spend 30 minutes block like no you're not okay we know that's not true this person also got quite a bit of support when in reality this comment actually proves Asmongold's point with 
data they said people who are in Asmin's twitch stream discussing and talking about leaving the stream as soon as an ad plays are already far away from those who actually do it because they usually don't even go to twitch anymore as soon as i open a stream and see five 30 second ads i'm already gone we don't show up in any metrics for Asmin to see so what this person is saying is that there's plenty of people that no longer watch Asmund Gold's Twitch streams because of ads, and therefore they don't show up in the data that shows that ads don't affect viewership. Because that was one of the things, one of the major points that Asmund was making was that an increase of ad frequency and ad volume does not have a significant negative impact on the creator's viewership that was his main argument and a lot of people were shocked they were mad about that they did not believe him they don't think that it's true it is true and i'm going to give you guys some uh, insight into my youtube dashboard so you can see my analytics and i'll show you exactly why i know i know that that's there's virtually no viewer drop off from advertisements but this person is saying that there is right because they are one of them but there's two problems with this comment first of all um asman's twitch streams i don't think Think they typically have any ads because he streams on his alt channel which is not partnered it's possible that because it's so big which just forces ads on there without his consent and there's nothing you can do about it I don't actually typically watch Asmongold's streams on Twitch. And when I do, I have Twitch Turbo because I don't like ads. Okay. But the fact that this got 1.4K upvotes and plenty of comment support may make you think that this person is right. A lot of people are saying, yeah, I'm one of those people that no longer watch. And therefore, that is proof that there are people, 1.4K of them, who actually stopped watching because of ads right and so this is a great data point right because let's say that everyone that dropped a thumbs up on this comment was being honest okay let's say that every single one of these 1400 people stopped watching Asmongold's streams because of ad frequency okay which obviously th that's not the case I'm being very generous here but let's just assume that it's the case okay let's say it's 1400 people if we come up here and we see okay so we have 371,000 views okay so let's just go ahead and do the math here we have 1400 people who quit watching the stream out of 371,000 potential people uh times that by 100 so 0.3 percent of people stopped watching Asmongold because of ads if all of them are being truthful and let's say that a lot of people who stopped watching Asmongold didn't scroll down to the comment section or they didn't see that comment or they didn't engage with that comment so let's just triple it just to be generous so okay one percent maybe a little more than one percent of people stopped watching Asmongold because of ads and again tripling this is extremely generous by the way okay so okay one percent of people two percent tops are no longer watching Asmongold because of his ads and yet if we go to his social blade his followers are up seven percent in the last 30 days so these people that claim to be leaving the stream because of ads are being replaced by new viewers so fast I mean in the last 30 days he's gained 2760 people and we already know that one percent of them might leave because of ads okay like you just can't deny the math here okay Th this does not affect viewership but you could make the argument that okay well Asmongold's kind of an exception right because he is a really big creator and so he is constantly drawing in new people but what about like the average creator like people who don't have millions of followers across multiple platforms like surely for them having you to be aggressive on the stance of ad block will be bad for the average youtuber or the average twitch streamer and I gotta say my main channel has almost 60,000 subscribers okay almost 60,000 we're getting there all right and I would say that's a really small channel right like in the grand scheme of things for YouTube like that's a tiny channel okay and if we take a look at my analytics this is the part that I know Asmund Gold is right from my own experience as a very small creator okay this is what we're looking at is my revenue analytics from April 1st to July 1st of 2021 and the reason that I picked those dates is because that that's when I started increasing the frequency of the ads in my videos okay 
and the reason that i remember this time period is because i watched a devin nash video where he he talks about how frequently one of his guests runs ads i think it was jeremy from gaming curios if i'm not mistaken this was years ago so it was a while but i remember specifically watching that video and finding out how frequently these big youtubers are running ads and my mind was blown and i immediately implemented that strategy for my entire video catalog okay i took like an hour and i went through and i increased the frequency of all the ads for all my videos across the board and instantaneously i started making about three times more money sometimes five times more money um you could see here before i implemented the change i was averaging about 20 dollars a day i would say something like that right at every data point here you could see it's, it's about 20 dollars. sometimes it's a little higher sometimes it's uh you know a little bit lower but let's just say it's about $20 a day before I implemented the change. When did I implement the change? Well, I think it's pretty obvious when I implemented it. Okay. We go from 15 to 63 and we never touch $20 again. In fact, like we had some really big days here. Um, now was there a tremendous amount of growth for my channel in this time? um not really nothing crazy compared to like the month before like you could make the argument that my channel was in an uptrend sure but my viewership didn't triple or quadruple in the course of literally like we're talking days right this is the 21st and then literally from the 23rd onward like it is an instant change right away we see double triple quadruple or more revenue across the board okay and what did i do what like what exactly caused this change well if i have a 15 minute video there is typically four or five ad breaks in that video i have an ad at the two minute mark and then every four minutes or so i play another ad sometimes i do three and a half minutes and like for those of you that are watching that block ads you might think that is insane you're like oh my god if i saw an ad every four minutes there's no way that i would ever watch youtube well okay first of all when you place ad breaks as a creator when you place ad breaks in youtube videos it doesn't guarantee that a viewer will see an ad okay so as a youtuber let's just say i put an ad break at the two minute mark and at the six minute mark okay if a viewer sees an ad at the two minute mark and they watch they continue watching through my video and they reach that six minute mark youtube will decide if that viewer should be shown an ad okay and youtube's algorithm for determining this is extremely complex okay it's probably curated and i don't know this for sure because we don't nobody knows this actual algorithm but i suspect that youtube curates this based on the individual user right so they have data to see okay how often does this viewer click away from youtube when they're shown an ad right like i know youtube tracks that data obviously they would do that they are in the business of ads like it's google okay like obviously so i suspect that for some users that are very ad sensitive youtube probably shows them uh, fewer ads right they they probably do at least for mid rolls they probably still see the same number of pre-rolls post rolls all that stuff right but for mid rolls there's a chance i'm assuming here okay that perhaps they might not see that six minute ad slot that i put in but for other users let's say they weren't shown that two minute ad slot that i put in they will probably see the six minute ad slot okay and so that's why for me as a creator if i put an ad every four minutes the viewership doesn't drop it literally it literally doesn't and you could see that the only outcome that i've seen is channel growth and making three to five times more money like that's literally overnight it completely changed my entire youtube channel and it made me able to do what i do here today which is doing content full time so all of this to say that asmongold is a hundred percent right i instantly 5x or 6x the amount of ads in my videos and i immediately saw a three to five times increase in revenue and i've only ever seen channel growth since and we also see from asmongold's own comment section that about one percent at best of people are leaving his content as a result of ads which is data that is self-reported by them engaging with their own comments in the community okay so what we've learned so far is that for both a very big youtube channel and also a very small youtube channel a dramatic increase in ad frequency has virtually no effect on viewership 
that's just the data we know that for sure regardless of how you feel about that right like for you watching maybe you use an ad block and maybe you are one of those people that would actually leave and that's fine but the data shows that it's virtually nobody that stops using the platform as a result of increased frequency in ads so will this actually do anything will this change from YouTube their more aggressive stance on ads will it actually change how people use their platform will people stop using YouTube as a result of this change I think here's what here's what I think okay I think YouTube will see a very small decrease in viewership as a result of this like perhaps the ads are too aggressive there's too many of them there some of them are unskippable some of them are also um literally scams right like this person over on Twitter said that it is an AI voiceover of Trump telling you to go to a website to buy a gas mask for the impending danger okay so some of the ads are literally like fake news scam bullshit garbage okay and truthfully stuff like this should not be on the YouTube platform like it's actually a scam right and that's a topic for a whole other video but we're talking like YouTube's ad platform is literally global it's in like probably hundreds of countries around the world in all different languages and regions and, and all that stuff and so for them to you know guarantee that there's never going to be a scam it's impossible okay like there's just no way yes scams like this are horrible the reality is that most ads on YouTube are not scams they're for Charmin or they're for Coca-Cola or they're for you know the latest McDonald's happy meal whatever okay a vast majority of ads are from mega corporations like obviously so yes I think a small number of people will stop watching YouTube if their ad blocks are completely disabled will the ad block extensions be able to come up with a new way to get around YouTube's detection of ad block and I think this is one of the other points that a lot of people were making especially um in ad in Asmund Gold's chat they were saying well it's kind of a cat and mouse game I think that the developers for these extensions are very talented they're very intelligent and of course they will do everything in their power to make sure that their ad block is going to continue working right and I think that that is true obviously the ad block extensions aren't just gonna throw up their hands and be like okay well we can't block ads on YouTube anymore like surely they're going to continue to try and I think that a lot of ad blocks are run off of donations right like people donate to ad block as a thank you for their service and it makes sense I would I would be happy to donate five dollars one time to the ad block extension in exchange for two years of never seeing an ad makes sense to me and if they have hundreds of millions of users and only one percent of people do that and they only give them a dollar well that still makes the person who made ad block a millionaire right so clearly it's in his best interest or their best interest I don't know how many people work on these extensions but surely it's not a huge team it's probably a small team with not just one person I probably more than one person but regardless they have a financial incentive to make sure ad block continues to be the best extension for blocking ads on the platform right on on Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever but there's just no competing with Google right Google makes billions of dollars from ads it is literally a fortune 500 company because of ads and the data that is collected that serves ads to the viewers the reality is that Google has infinitely more resources and talent than the ad blocking extensions and honestly YouTube is just allowing ad block to exist right like that's the reality they could shut it they could shut it down no problem they could basically flip a switch and it would be gone right it would literally just be gone so for the past like 10 15 years you know YouTube has essentially just allowed them to exist and the only reason for that is because they've probably done the math and determined that the amount of money that they're losing from this is not significant compared to how much money it would cost to tackle the problem okay but once those scales shift and there is a real tangible profit incentive to completely nuke ad block from orbit you can believe that YouTube will not only do it but they will be required to do it by their shareholders okay Google is a publicly traded company and if the shareholders are like why are we bleeding out all this ad revenue YouTube will crack down and it will be over right away but the truth is that the strategy YouTube is going to take is the one that they've taken for the past 10 to 15 years and it's just going to be 
a slow boil okay it's going to be the frog in the pot of water analogy every year they're going to turn it up one degree and after 15 years we went from 90 degrees to 105 and now it's starting to hurt and people are starting to complain but the truth is not everybody got this pop-up yet and you might not get it this month maybe you'll get it next month or in two months and eventually it's going to be harder and harder to block ads on YouTube and more and more people will just accept that people who are literate with technology will be able to hold out the longest because they're going to be the ones that are able to find new ad blockers or code their own thing on their end or they'll use a VPN and try to you know change their region to somewhere that gets virtually no ads right but the average internet user is not that intelligent okay let's just be real most people have a full-time job they've got stuff to do they are they, they are not emotionally invested in this at all and those of you that are watching this video are obviously because you clicked on it so majority of you watching probably are invested in this but most people aren't okay most people are just going to watch a, a couple extra ads a week and that's going to be it it's going to be fine some people are going to try youtube premium other people are maybe maybe one percent will start watching more content on TikTok or or you know Instagram reels or whatever rumble right but the truth is more YouTube ads are coming and honestly it's not the end of the world if I ever have to watch a YouTube video without my YouTube premium that I've been paying for for a long time now usually you get a like two or three ads that you can skip after like five seconds like it's really not that intrusive if I'm being completely honest with you now sure okay sometimes you do get really long unskippable ads and that does suck but a majority of them are not that right like yes you can look at the most egregious offenders and you could look at the outliers and say this is why it's bad right if you're sitting through 60 seconds of an AI Trump ad okay obviously that's awful but again that's not the majority that is like so few times is that really the case and the reason that the ads on YouTube are skippable and they're so generous and friendly is because YouTube doesn't want you to use an ad blocker they want to make it as seamless as possible so that way you're not frustrated and you stay using the platform and they know this okay so the changes that YouTube is going to make are only going to be ones that don't significantly reduce the viewership of the platform so over the next six months 12 months two three four years if you see an increase in ads on YouTube you can be sure that they've done the math they have the data and they know that that increase in advertising is not really affecting the total viewership of the platform and if total viewership of the platform goes down by two percent but ad revenue goes up by ten percent you know that they're gonna make that choice every single day of the week my recommendation for you guys is to learn how to use an ad blocker okay that's fine do it it's it is what it is if you can't or you don't care or you want to continue supporting YouTube and their creators which I would hope that you would want to if you use the platform a lot then I would say you should try YouTube premium I've been paying for it for years myself I love YouTube premium I get the most value out of YouTube premium compared to any other subscription that I use I pay for Netflix I play for Hulu all these other things but YouTube premium is the one that I get the most value out of because I watch YouTube more than anything else okay and I'm happy to pay for that because YouTube can't operate if there are no ads if 100 of the user base has an ad blocker then YouTube goes away that's how that's how money works if there's not money to keep the servers up it goes away so eventually you're either going to watch more ads or you're going to pay for YouTube premium or you're going to leave the platform I recommend for you watching try to get an ad blocker see if it works if it does great that's awesome I'm happy for you for the next few months or years you'll be good until they get more aggressive with this but I would also recommend trying YouTube premium it's actually good and at the end of the day the number one thing that we learned is that Asmund Gold is right yet again isn't that so annoying it's so annoying he's just always right it's crazy 